See, actually today the people are going through the stress and all these problems not because of anything else but because of the lifestyle. So that's why doctors call it as a lifestyle disorders. So as a result of lifestyle disorders, the solution could be lifestyle change. And the whole world, if there is anything which can really emphasize in the lifestyle change, is from the ancient Indian time, that's what is yoga. We have to educate them. Yoga is not just only a physical posture, but it is a total personality development. In fact, human being is not just only physical body, it is a very complex personality. Deep inside we are consciousness, emotions, intellect, mind. So all these things are there. In fact, our sages have given yoga at all these different levels to see that how you can manage the lifestyle at all these personality levels. Actually, this is one of the reasons why our Prime Minister Modi introduced yoga at the international level. The idea is that the message of yoga is always peace, peace, peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. You are peaceful with your body, you are peaceful with the environment, you are peaceful with surroundings. So this is what is the message that yoga tries to give us. Yeah, it is very important that we take it from India, this message of yoga, because Yoga practices, they are not just evolved as an isolated thing. The whole philosophy, whole culture and whole lifestyle, everything put together, yoga has evolved. And anybody else who will give yoga, he will only take one small little aspect of yoga. Somebody takes up breathing aspect, somebody takes up meditation aspect, somebody takes up physical postures accept and then they say that this is what is yoga. So therefore, a friend of mine in USA, he said, if I have to learn yoga, let me learn from an Indian, not from a non-Indian because that they do not have this holistic picture. So that is the reason why we have to take this idea that this is from India because basically, not because of any ego or anything like that, but because that there are so many facets of yoga that is there which can come into the daily life, useful, meditation. Pranayama, Kriyas, Bandhas, Mudras, all these things we can discuss, we can take it to the people. Then what happens is, somebody's need may be doing some postures, but for somebody else, postures may be difficult. You can do Pranayama. Patanjali is one person who has given the science of yoga. See, that means to say the formula about yoga, what is yoga, how it has to be done, in a beautiful formula. Patanjali has given us into four chapters. They are wonderful. But apart from that, this is the background of yoga. But apart from that, we have Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga. All these things are there which Bhagavad Gita Krishna gives. Yeah, my message to the youngsters is that all this technology development, all this comfort development and all that that is there, any amount of all this development of the comfort, this and that, will give you temporary satisfaction. Like for example, whatever that computer that was there about five years ago, it was really exciting. But today, same computer does not excite us because it has moved forward. So therefore, expecting that the material world can give you permanent satisfaction is a foolishness. So, go for material world for sake of that you can utilize, utility purpose, you can enjoy it, but don't replace it with the inner search for happiness that's supposed to be yoga.